I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. No one is more professional than I. Huh. No one is more professional than I. I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. As a non-commissioned officer, I realized I'm a member of the Time Warner Corps. Which is known as the backbone of the Army. One, five, three. The professionalism of the NCO Corps is really their watchword. Because of their professionalism and understanding the bigger picture, they're the ones making critical decisions on the ground that are saving lives, protecting our soldiers, and helping us get the mission done. You gotta have somebody who's right there on the level with the men, who knows them by name, and who knows their habits, and knows their way of thinking. Back climbing up. You don't punch in and punch out at the end of the day. You're a non-commissioned officer from the moment you wake up to you go to sleep at night, and, and you think about your responsibilities to the mission, to your soldiers every waking moment. Now become a leader, and as a leader of soldiers, I want to be able to lead one of the best and the most elite team in a battalion or in a brigade. The soldier always reflects the leader. From the day you step in the doors, you start becoming a leader, and it just progresses from that point throughout the rest of your career and lifetimes. Not only are we living the NCO values, but we embody the best that the Army has to offer. Competence is my watchword. My two basic responsibilities will remain uppermost in my mind. Accomplishment of my mission and the welfare of my soldiers. All soldiers are entitled to outstanding leadership. I will provide that leadership. I will always place their needs above my own. NCOs provide the continuity to a unit. They also provide uh, soldiers purpose, direction, and motivation. To be an NCO, actually, I think this is the most important job that the Army has, because your job as a non-commissioned officer to take care of soldiers, put their needs above your own needs. In order to execute a proper parachute landing ball, you must hit all five points of contact. When you watch that young private as they come up through the ranks, they understand that not only is leadership fundamental, but they understand that it's their inherent task to pass on that knowledge to the next generation of soldiers. I think the reason that non-commissioned officers are so valuable is, is you can't buy them. You, know, you can't recruit them from a street corner. Uh, the only way that you can get a non-commissioned officer is, uh, is to build one. In a lot of ways, the Army's gone ahead and empowered the NCO Corps a lot more. I think we have a lot more responsibility than, than uh, the NCOs of past tradition. The change in the NCOES system will help educate us to be critical thinkers and to think outside the box, which will make us more effective. Go. Go. This song major, in my words, he's the epitome of the backbone of the United States Army. He has the most working knowledge of how things should be run and how things should be done. I will be loyal. I will exercise initiative. I will not compromise my integrity nor my moral courage. I am proud to be an NCO. Today, when you look at those platoon leaders and platoon sergeants in Iraq and Afghanistan and many other places around the world. And it's uh, the sergeants and the staff sergeants out there that are executing missions independently on their own. About 20 years ago in the military, there was a big line between officer and NCO. And as we've deployed in this war on terrorism, the officer and the NCO at all levels stand next to each other and plan uh, operations to achieve the same goal. Our right arm is, is our nine commissioned officer that stands by our sides. We actually are the nuts and bolts, get down and dirty, you know, with the soldiers and make things happen. It's the non-commissioned officer, the backbone, the link between our officer commanders and the soldiers on the ground executing the missions every day. NCOs are so important to the Army. They are the direct lifeline from the chain of command to the men. And that's where the rubber meets the road, and that's where the mission gets accomplished. It's through the NCOs. Wave at me, Group 1. You're proud of being an NCO. You're proud of, you know, what you represent personally and professionally, but you're also proud of your soldiers. You have to love your job. We do this because we love it. We love working with soldiers. And they're the reason we have the best Army in the world. <laughs>